my mistake, fighters. Seems this gentleman here has a, uh, a special arrangement. Number 11 gets another pick of the partner pot. I don't want another pick. I want the waifu. Oi, what's the big idea? Play fair, will ya? Come on now, folks. Be reasonable. The, uh, the official adjudicator has spoken. Now, why don't we see who number 11 will be fighting beside? Oh, hey, hey. It's number seven! Fighter number seven, come on down! Looks like I'm up. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, Vince got picked already. How about that? Number 11's new partner is last year's champion, Octagonia's favorite son, Vince Vanquish! Hey man, good to meet you. Let's break some heads. The draw continues, eventually all the fighters are paired off. I wanted the waifu though. That's it, folks. Our teams have been decided. Now all that remains is to wait for the action to begin. Let's wish the best of luck to all our fighters! <laughs> Alright then. How'd the draw go? By the look in your face, I see you got yourself a pretty good partner, huh? It'll be a little bit viral before we start the opening fights. Why don't you head over to the inn and rest up while you wait? It won't cost you a dime. Fighters stay for free. Octagoning is in. I'd make the most of it if I were you. Alright, the elevator. You ready to head down? The game screwed me over of getting teamed up with a really attractive waifu. She was wearing a mask, but man, she was attractive for wearing a mask. that you've been paired with last year's champion. Lucky old you. Not so much, I wanted the waifu. Not that you even need a partner. I was just saying to Veronica, they should change the rules so you can compete on your own. Wasn't I, Veronica? Veronica? Where's she gone? She was here a moment ago. Oh no, Veronica's causing more trouble. What's all that commotion outside? Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, Veronica. Why don't you learn to look where you're going? Me look where I'm going? You're the one strolling around with your nose in the air, you snooty little midget. What? That's ridiculous. You walked right into me, you big lump. Didn't your mother ever teach you to say sorry? Cool. You really don't know where to shut up, do ya? This is all I need after me bleeding, stinking luck and that bleeding, stinking drool. Don't take it out on the kid on the digger. We all have our bad days. Who said that? Come here and I'll... <gasps> Ch champ. <gasps> I get it. You didn't get the draw you wanted. But you gotta roll with the punches, man. I mean, you're a tough guy. What does it matter who you partner with, right? Well, uh, since you put it like that, champ... Uh, sorry, Squirt. <laughs> I'll, uh... Kev? Uh, Kev, is that you, mate? Kev? <laughs> Veronica, are you all right? Hey there, partner. You know this little lady? I guess all's well that ends well, huh? Glad I could help out. All right, gotta bounce. I got kids to feed, then I'm hitting the sack. We ain't gonna win tomorrow if we don't rest up. You take it easy too, you hear? I'll come get you bright and early. All right then. 
Tension around the town goes up a couple notches when the fighting's about to start. It's fun to talk to the locals and watch them get all worked up. Hey, but you're gonna be fighting tomorrow, right? You should be getting some rest. You know Octagonia and fighters stay for free. You should totally take advantage. All right. Well, there'll always be a place in my heart for Cinderella, and Wambolina's just the sweetest pie, too. Ugh, those names, though. But I'll tell you who's really good. Who's really turned my head this time around? The girl with the long black hair. She's got a whole lot of mystery about her, and I like that. Oh, the waifu was about to get teamed up with, and then they stopped it, because they were like, hey, we can't have you team up with a beautiful, attractive waifu. Welcome to Octagon. Now, I, I read that already. So it seems that eight teens makes it through from the first round of fights, and losing teens get knocked out. It sounds pretty exciting. I mean, if you can't afford to lose even one match, everyone's going to be trying their best from the start. Alright, to the end we go. Ba-ba-bum. Well, but isn't Vince's new partner. He was here just a minute ago, matter of fact. Said he'd come wake you up tomorrow morning in time for your first fight. Maybe you heard already, but fighters stay for free here at the end. Alright then, I'll show you to your room. Dress up good tomorrow now. I do whatever I want. Rise and shine, partner. Time to hit the arena. Oh, here we go. We got a fight coming up. If you need to rest beforehand, we got a bed to use. Need to say a pre-fighter prayer. Save the game really quick, and maybe we'll do some character builder. I don't, I don't think there was, really, there was really much to do. We shall see, though. We shall see. I'd learn Frost Fangs. That'd be interesting. Ooh, we could work our way up here. That might be interesting. Let's get a critical hit chance up while wielding. Hey, partner. Time to get to it. Nice. Let's go smash some heads. There will be actual head smashing in this promotion video. Watch at your own risk. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. It's time for our first bout. And boy, is it a big one. Vince Vanquish and his mysterious new partner take on the Underdigger and the Abominable Showman. Teams. Enter the arena! Huh. We meet again, Underdigger. Gotta stop bumping into each other like this. Oh, give me a break, will ya? Up against a champ in the first round. I must have the worst bleeding, stinking luck in the whole bleeding, stinking world. Right, you. Here's the plan. We wallop the kid first, then we move on to Vince, all right? That way, we might actually stand a chance of getting out of here alive. Sure thing. We're gonna win this easy, and then all the girls are gonna be swooning over me. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> All right, teams, I want a nice clean bout. On my word. Here it comes, folks. And fight! Oh, this throwback. Dragon Quest 4 music right here. Such a throwback. Eyes open. Eyes open. My eyes are always open. Oh, Vince's claws here. Nice, nice. Get the showman out of here. Prepare to get licked. No way. Oh, Vince, you can chew it. Don't worry. That guy just, like, double-legged me. He Milda kicked me. Is he related to Milda? That's not Darlin. I've been Milda kicked again. Stop it. Oh, you can... Okay. That's something you could do, I guess. Yo, this Dragon Quest 4 music is amazing. 
Bang it up. Giant explosion. Oh, here it comes. Ow. Alright, that one's super dead. Oh, we get to see the pet power. I'm glad we're seeing it. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. That's so ridiculous, but I love it. I need, I need you to die, dude. I wanted them to use the, uh, the pet power, which is why I didn't kill him right away. Oh, goodbye. And right, now it's just the Underdigger. No big deal. Oh, let's go. Too bad I can't pet power because I'm, you know, by myself. Not counting Vince. Easy victories. That's it! It's all over! Vince has done it again! What about me? I did more than Vince, honestly. Nice job, partner. You're tougher than you look. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like the next fight started already. Would you look at the kid go? She's incredible! supposed to compete with that admit it Vince even you're impressed yeah she ain't bad the preliminary bouts draw to a close and Vince and Nova make it safely through to the next round all right folks here are the teams who'll be fighting it out for your pleasure in the final bouts Vince and his new sidekick prove invincible and take the title again? Or will Rab and Jade continue their incredible run and pip the champ at the post? It's all still to play for. Come back tomorrow when the action continues. You won't want to miss it! Oh, this tournament's getting interesting. We're gonna have to end it next time. We'll probably have time for like the next fight and that's it. I locked out getting you as my partner. We're in with the chance, you and me. Anyway, I better go. The kids will be waiting for me back at the orphanage. All right, well. Leave the arena. Oh, hey guys. the floor with you. You should be ashamed of yourself going out in the first round. Look, I did the best I could, okay? But she's... she's not normal. She's all powerful. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't just love struck? You looked a bit weak at the knees to me. And what with her flashing her legs around like that? Well... <gasps> 
Veronica! It's them! Huh? Excuse me, lassie. Would you mind standing aside? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Shall we? Hmm. I'd keep a close eye on your partner if I were you. Keep an eye on Vince? What does she mean by that? I mean, there's really only one way to interpret it. You don't think it could be anything to do with the missing people we heard about, do you? Didn't someone say that they were all competitors in the tournaments they have here? Could... Could Vince be in danger? Missing people? That's the first I've heard of it. Doesn't sound good, though. Maybe you should go check on Vince. Don't want your partner disappearing before the big day. To be honest, I can deal with the tournament just fine without him. Man, I wish Jade was my partner right now. I was awfully shocked to hear all about the fighters who've been disappearing. I do hope Vince will be alright. He must be tired after your fight, but I think you should pay a visit to the orphanage, just to make sure nothing untoward has happened to him. I need to go down the stairs to the east, head west, you'll be careful as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Whoop. Can't jump there, rip. Cowards, how dare they. Let me throw caution to the wind. Bum. Let's go around a bit, see if we can find anything more about the disappearances. Actually, Vince might well be a target too. Maybe he's seen someone suspicious around the place? I think you better check in on him. He should be in the orphanage, go down the stairs, then Yeah, I know how to get the orphanage. Plus, the game's gonna give me a cutscene here. Catch you later, man. It's you. Man, I thought you were some creep sneaking up on me. Sorry, it's just... I keep hearing about fighters going missing. Kinda puts a guy on edge, you know? Didn't mean to scare you, partner. Seeing as you're here, why don't you come inside? Hey, look! Uncle Vince is back! You kids were good while I was gone, right? Uh-huh. Is this a friend of yours, Uncle Vince? Yup. A very important one. So you play quietly while he's here, okay? Oh, be sure! Be sure! I was born and raised in this orphanage, man. That's actually why I fight. Wanted to raise some money. Give a little something back, you know? Trouble is... Fighting's all I'm good at. If I stop winning, these kids stop eating. Huh. <laughs> Won't be a problem this year, though. You and me, we're going all the way. Good to have you along for the ride, partner. Vince talks on and on for hours. Struggles to get a word in edgewise. Yeah, I mean, he's a silent protagonist. Man, look at the time. Sorry. Once I start gabbing, I kind of find it hard to stop. Wait, was there something you wanted to talk about? I mean, I'm guessing that's why you came to... Huh. Hey, did you hear that? It came from my room. There it is again. There's somebody up there! Nice disastrous music. Bear with you, I just gotta look around. I ain't scared, there ain't nothing to be scared of. Seriously, come on, quit crying. But the burglar wasn't alone. What if there was a whole bunch of them and they came for Uncle Vince? Please, you must go help Uncle Vince's and check on them. Alright, yeah.
Things can wait a little bit. I want to look up between some cabinets. Oh, hi. A recipe book? Butterfly knives and malleable masks. Ba -ba -bum. I really need to go pee, but I'm too scared to go outside. What am I gonna do? Oh my goodness. That poor child. <laughs> 